Another two minutes will go live. Sure, sure. Yeah. Noted. Confused about your future career? Which program of study to take? What emerging and trending specializations to opt for? Are you going to have a great job and career after 4 years of study from now? Self-awareness will help you make the right and informed decision about the right program and the place that belongs to you in this era of industry and technology change. DSU, one of the leading universities in India, is among the top three universities is in Karnataka and is coming back with its right career, right place, the webinar series 2023. A well-informed and inspiring webinar series delivered by industry veterans and senior academicians can lead you to choose the right career path based on your potential, passion, and industry trends. Our webinars will guide you from the current understanding of various programs to a more in-depth understanding of cutting-edge specializations based on new age technologies. Join us to get insights about more thrilling career options that are available in future for you. Professional Future. Right Career, Right Place. The Webinar Series 2023. Dayanand Sagar University. Live the dream. Confused about your future? Confused? What do you think a good university should have to give you lifelong learning experiences? That's a good question. A good university should have worldwide recognition program, innovative pedagogy and interdisciplinary teaching approach, best in class faculties with industry exposure, modern state of the art infrastructure, advanced lab facilities, and wide industrial exposure for outstanding placements. Dayanand Saga University a beacon of inspiration, quality, and wisdom. With a legacy spanning over six decades, the university is known as the pride of South Bangalore. Consistently rated as one of the top three universities in Karnataka, Dayanand Sagar University inspires students with unique perspectives and knowledge. And now, to inspire thousands more, the university expands its in-demand programs to the Kudlu Gate City Innovation Campus. Equipped with world-class infrastructure, industry-driven innovation laboratories, on-campus medical facilities, and multifaceted faculties, creating a whole new world of possibilities for the brilliant minds in the heart of Bangalore City. The best thing about this campus is that it is easily accessible. It only takes 45 minutes for me to reach here from Indranagar. Some of my friends come here from Mosur and Whitefield. DSU City Innovation Campus is so well placed that everyone in the city would love to access it. The City Innovation Campus now offers coveted programs in commerce, management, arts, design, humanities, computing applications, law, and basic and applied sciences to help students explore the unexplored and discover new possibilities. This part of the city has always been missing a prestigious campus with these courses, but now with DSU, this will be solved. DSU is the synonym of trust. The university employs industry experts and easily attracts national and international collaborations. Due to its proximity to the IT hub of Bangalore, DSU is a hotbed for placements and industrial exposure. 
and also the preferred places for companies to set up the incubation centers. Experiential learning or practical learning is right at the forefront of things when it comes to student activities. The relaxed and cohesive environment attained through an engaging, innovative and industry-aligned curriculum a technology-driven campus and innovation laboratories ingrain confidence in students to grab exceptional career opportunities, exemplifying the university's position as a premium university in placements. In summary, Dhanan Sagar University offers facilities for the overall development and I request the students to come and explore the opportunities. Yes, you persuade us to aim big and to leave dreams and dreams are the most powerful energy. The values instilled at DSU will stay with us forever and this is how I discovered my career should be. Come, be a part of this journey to etch the bright future of the next generation. Dayanand Sagar University, live the dream. Yeah, Pallavi, we are good to go. So I'm just putting on the regular screen of ours. Over to you, Pallavi. Yes, sir. A very good morning and a warm welcome. So one. A very good morning and a warm welcome to the respected guests and the incredible students. It is my pleasure to welcome you all to the webinar on emerging trends in design. I am Pallavi and it gives us a great pride to host this webinar series, Right Career, Right Place, organized by DSU for the design aspirant. We are here today to discuss on the emerging trends in design and how the design industry is undergoing a seismic shift. Design is a part of every aspect of our lives and choosing it as a field can teach valuable skills that can prepare you for the world and the wide variety of careers in the future. Without further ado, allow me to welcome our guest speaker, Mr. Bala Subramanian Raj Shekharan. He is an art director in the field of animation and games industry with an experience of over two and a half decades in the industry. He had the opportunity to work on the multitude of projects in the category of 2D plus 3D animated TV shows, mobile games, and ad films. Disney, DreamWorks, Zynga, Gameloft are a few stalwarts from his clientele. His passion lead him to win the Outstanding Film Award at Digicon 6 plus 2, Tokyo, Japan in 2006, and the World Gold Medal at New York Festival in 2007 for making the short animated film The Bad Egg. He had he has also worked extensively in the world of gaming and currently he is working with Zynga as an art director. We welcome you, sir. Yep. We regret to inform you that our Honorable Vice Chancellor of DSU could not attend the webinar today. 
as the vice chancellor was sent out a last minute invitation by an institution at Shimoga to be the chief guest for the convocation ceremony. Sir has to take up the commitment in the last minute and hence not able to be the part of this webinar. Sir has shared his views and the same will be shared by Mr. Srinivas Shinde, Chief Marketing Officer at DSU, who will be also setting the context for today's webinar. Over to you, sir. Sure. Thank you so much, Pallavi. A very good morning to all the aspiring students. And of course, a very warm welcome to the distinguished speakers. I'd like to thank Mr. Bal Subramaniam Rajshekaran, who has taken our time and been made available for this exclusive webinar under the title, Right Career, Right Place. The webinar series organized by Dayan and Sagar University. And also I would like to welcome my colleague and the Dean for the School of Design and Transmedia, Professor Dinesh Kulkarni. Hello. Thank you so much for being here today. The Vice Chancellor, sir, could not be available in the last minute. As yesterday evening around 4.30, a prestigious college from Shimoga had sent out an invitation. And uh, the Vice Chancellor, sir, could not say a no to it. And that's why he had to travel there. In fact, we were also exploring if he could log in from there. But as the convocation ceremony is for about four hours, uh, he will he saw that it is going to be difficult for him to log in from there. And hence, as the vice chancellor was supposed to set the context and give his views, he has shared the details with me and I will be honored to share his views with all of you. Careers in bead design. It's not that today the students are not aware of the industry. But what we feel today is students are not aware of the kind of specializations, the new age specializations that are coming in today with, within the design industry. And hence we thought that under the particular banner of Right Career, Right Place, the webinar series, we have been getting loads and loads of requests in the last couple of months where students would want to understand what does it take to make a career in a particular field. And hence, this webinar series has been organized. We have done this last year also. Last year, we had close to 90 webinars. And this year, we started out on April 6th. And this is our eighth webinar for the season. And we have plenty of more webinars to come in. If you keep visiting our website, you will be able to see this. Now, what are these webinars? Why are we doing these webinars? Is it a gimmick for sales? No, it is not a gimmick for sales. Is it a gimmick for admissions? No, it is not a gimmick for admissions. The students, prima facie, need to understand what is it that today I can take up. Students are very intelligent nowadays. Internet is being made available to them and they today are able to do a lot of research. While you are doing research, this particular content from this webinar may be useful to you to understand, especially when we had stalwarts from the industry who are able to share their experience as to what is the requirement in today's industry? What is the requirement in today's design industry? Also, if you're able to hear out our colleague, Professor Dinesh, he comes with a vast experience of being in the industry. And after spending a decade in the industry, he now is guiding students at Diane and Sagar University to look forward to some of the most aspiring careers in design. Now, what is careers in design? In today's time, before starting any work, a proper roadmap is required, which increases the chances of being perfect. Like before building a house, a complete map is required. Or before the clothes are sewn, it is designed on a paper. A designer is simply the one who creates the best final product using his imagination and creativity. Design can help in transforming the way we look at things and can also result in new economic benefits and a better quality of life. The design industry in India is growing at a rate of 
23 to 25 percent annually. The current need, if you see the current Indian is, India currently needs more than 62,000 designers for the country's industrial, graphic, communications, packaging, and other such industries, out of which only 7,000 qualified designers are available. This shows the opportunity and the potential that the design industry in India has. Different designing professionals such as UI UX designers, fashion designers, interior designers, animation designers, product designers, and graphic designers now a must have in upcoming fields like the automobiles, the IT communications, the fashion industries, hospitality, retail, media, publishing companies, education, real estate, and even government. The number of design companies and educational courses is now increasing simultaneously with the growth of the designing sector. The main job of the designer in any profession is to provide quality products and services, improve business efficiencies, productivity and margins, and increase revenues. So if you are thinking of taking up design as your career, you can check out these professions as they can help you decide your future. The design industry in India will increase significantly in the next 10 years. Regardless of whether you are a designer or aspiring to be one, it is crucial to know that technology, correct use, technology's correct use will assume a significant role in your success. Innovation moves at the speed of light in this day and age. Hence, designers need to be on the same track to take the leverage of developing technology fully so exactly what impacts does technology have on the design world. Two decades ago, we would we wound up in an amazement at how computers and the internet changed countless aspects of our life. Exactly when we thought technology had reached its pinnacle, we were also happily mindful about what was going to be unfurled. Gone are the days when you require a pen or paper as instruments to make your designs. Today, inventive softwares and latest devices have made a designer's life immensely simple, efficient, along with making it interesting. Every industry relies on efficiency of its workers and the design industry is no exception. It must have been exhausting and monotonous for analog creators who had to undergo the process of arranging the models, creating design mockups, and eventually cutting out the paper, you know, the pages to create a single design. These days, you can create multiple professional looking designs with a short period just by using your tablet or your computers. More on this industry and more on how we at DSU can help shape the future designers, our panelists will share the details. I thank the panelists for taking out time and being present for this info session to guide the aspirants so that they can make the right career, right choice at the right place. I thank the organizers for inviting me and you know, to share the context of, of this particular industry. Thank you so much. Over to you, Pallavi. Yes. Thank you, sir. Furthermore, I would like to introduce Professor Dinesh Kulkarni, who shall be leading the discussion further. Professor Dinesh Kulkarni, with over 24 years plus experience in design, animation, live action films, VFX, and gaming, Field with expertise in original IP, stereoscopy, AR, VR technology. Credits as animation VFX producers include projects like Little Krishna series, Big B, Ghost Station, Resident Evil, Afterlife, Chop Chops, Yeti, Big Set Man, and many more to it. He established new med media vertical in over 15 universities. Presently, he is a dean for the College of Design and Digital Transmedia at DSU. Over to you, sir. 
Thank you, Pallavi. Good morning, everyone. It gives me immense pleasure. Okay, when I look at the student profile here, I reminisce uh, how our lives were in 1990s when we took up our career. Okay, the, back then the globalization was a big deal. Okay, so India was becoming an outsourcing hub. China was becoming the manufacturing hub. Um, and the whole design hub was only in U US and Europe. That's how our life started. Okay, so a lot of phenomenal transformation happened in the last three decades. So I was a witness to all these emerging trends that happened then. Okay, same way you millennials, those born after 2000, okay, are in the cusp of witnessing an information revolution that is happening now. Like, okay, if IT revolution happened then, now it is information revolution that is happening now. So in all this, as we see a lot of disruptions currently happening in China, in Russia, okay, slowly this globalization concept is uh, dismantling and each country has to fend for itself by developing its own products. Okay, we have to design our own products, be it a product in consumer space, be it a product in entertainment space. Okay, so it is very, very important for us to change the mindset from service mentality because we were earlier doing a, um, our de basic uh, a degree or whatever, and uh, the industry used to train us and we used to work on projects essentially on services. Okay, now la it was my uh, aspiration that I should be working in IP, our own intellectual property. And that's how, uh, if you look at Little Krishna, uh, I worked with my favorite director, Bala, who also started on similar lines in 1994. He started his career. Okay, so he started his career as a assistant animator. From there, he became 2D animator in Militoons. Okay, then he was a senior animation in charge in Jadu Works. If you have heard about titles like Higley Town Heroes, and if you are, if you are, you, you might ask your parents the all out uh, ad that used to come. Okay, it is one of the uh, funniest ad which won multiple awards for him. He was the director for it. Then he worked on a significant uh, project called Bad Egg. Okay, we would be discussing that. Okay, going forward, how we transitioned out. Your life should also be taking the similar pace, okay? Be it in um, whatever design sector you choose, UX, UI, animation, visual effects, gaming, consumer design, consumer product design, or for that matter in uh, game design. So whatever be, this is the trajectory. Why I uh, uh, love to interact with uh, uh, Bala Subramaniam Chandrasekhar, the art and animation director, would be the fantastic trajectory he took. Okay, with each and every project he learned and he grew and grew. Okay, then you would be, uh, maybe you would have started your lives um, uh, when you are aware, maybe around three or four years old, you would have seen Little Krishna. He was the director for it. And if you have uh, looked at uh, Shekhar Kapoor as one of the uh, premium international directors, he has worked under him on Wardlord web series and Mantra. And if you look at um, Zynga, it is one of the top gaming companies, okay? So he worked on the Farm Willy 2, and if you look at Bubble, um, uh, the Speed Gus something, all this uh, with the Technicolor, if you look at, he has worked on the FIFA World Cup 2018, all the teasers that you got to see, and in 2019 on the FIFA Women's World Cup. And if you look at the major uh, contribution he worked there as, uh, the Fast and Furious uh, uh, spy, spy Racer DreamWorks series, he worked and he directed Rainbow Six Size, Assassin's Creed, Odyssey. These are the game products. There's Assassin's Creed, Valhalla, Steve, Prince of Persia. These were some of the. So let us, uh, next one hour, we will take a short journey with Bala. Okay. How he transitioned out from a rookie to a world class art and animation director. So we can gather as much insights as possible during this interaction. Welcome.
So that's what I would say. So I think, yeah, like um, uh, I started with BFA. So I came out of BFA and then uh, did animation, like got into 3D. Like I was like kind of versatile, like uh, that's my character. And, uh, you know, like uh, you need to be versatile basically to direct a show or anything. Um, like even um, uh, say like, you know, you are designing an interface, like, you know, again, uh, you, you have to have uh, a knowledge about, um, you know, like um, fonts or, you know, like uh, spacing or, you know, like composition or, you know, like uh, you have to tell story through uh, visual, uh, also like communicate through visual, right? So you need to be really good at art, actually, that's what I would say. So that's how, like, you know, I, I kind of went through. Uh, all these uh, you know areas uh, so and then finally become art director so yeah that's that's how I become art director I would say can you just go through your uh, um, see for us uh, the showreel uh, our portfolio reflexes okay unlike uh, the resumes big resumes that uh, corporates carry okay uh, from other areas uh, so can we please uh, take us through the journey like how you keep your portfolio updated so that uh, any person internationally can access your work and uh, take a call accordingly. Exactly. I think yeah, portfolio is very important again. Like, uh, you know, like you need to be, uh, uh, because it's all uh, like art is a personal journey, basically. Like, you know, you, uh, you kind of uh, go into uh, solitude and, you know, uh, start developing your, uh, you know, style or, uh, uh, you know, uh, you uh, try communicating uh, through visual, like, um, so, uh, again, um, you need to actually practice, you know, uh, uh, so that, you know, when, when you are, when you work on your personal project or, uh, you know, um, uh, uh, all these studies and everything, you, you become stronger, uh, so, so that you can go ahead and, you know, handle any project, actually, like, when you, when you are, when you're on a project, you know, you will not have time to uh, kind of study or, uh, I mean, you get time to research and do stuff, but you won't get, uh, like, you can't, like, learn art over there, actually. You you need to be ready, right, uh, and execute. So, I think, uh, yeah, that way, like, you know, I keep doing uh, my personal stuff, like, you know, I like whenever I get time, I uh, start working on my personal uh, projects and uh, also keep learning uh, new things so that, you know, so that I'm ready for any project. Uh, like you know, when I when, when I have to when I have to like design character, I can actually do it actually immediately, right, on the spot. Or um, even if I have to design environment, you know, you can jump actually, and then you now you can do it. So that that way, like you need to be really good at art. Actually, that's that's how I, I like started the building my uh, uh, site and portfolio. So the, this is where like you know um, some like uh, I I have planner uh, which is like. I just go, uh, like, you know, go out and, you know, paint uh, uh, during weekends. Like, uh, these are some plain, plainer uh, stuff. Uh, every weekend, like, you know, I kind of go out and, you know, whenever I get time, like, I go out. And then on the spot, I just sit and paint uh, for an hour, for an, like, you know, for an hour and come up with some visuals. Like, you know, uh, th these are some of the stuff, actually, around, in and around Bangalore, basically. So this is uh, this is one of them actually like you know where uh, I just sat and you know did this so uh, here again you learn a lot again like when you go on the spot and paint you kind of like um, you you have to make a lot of decisions actually like you know when you sit on a spot like uh, just choosing a, a composition uh, and also like um, uh, you know uh, in terms of uh, color or you know like the subject whatever actually and that light also keep changing right when you go and sit actually just light just moves actually you can feel it when you sit and uh, it's a meditative process i would say like you know uh, because any 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 art piece right you you shut everything down and you know you start focusing on the visual so you get into flow state i often get into flow state which maybe i can talk about it later uh, so i just forget about the world i only focus on the subject and you know and try uh, making this happen actually so um, I think you keep doing it, like, you know, when you often uh, you know, work on uh, pieces like this, you get into flow state, actually. I think any sportsman or uh, any, like, musician, like, you know, we all get into flow state where, you know, you try to do best piece, like, you know, best uh, work out of, uh, uh, out of the state. So, um, uh, yeah, that's, uh, that's about uh, uh, 
plain air, but uh, yeah, I think I can uh, like, uh, you know, uh, these are some of the like digital stuff, like, you know, I also convert uh, uh, plain air uh, uh, because uh, some some pieces like I just, uh, you know, try to convert them in uh, into digital. Uh, again, this is one of them where I just did, uh, I just did uh, plain air of this tree and then later, uh, I uh, imported that into Photoshop and you know uh, developed this with the characters and everything. So, so uh, I mean, I would be like uh, experimenting a lot so that you know I can. Uh, uh, I think again, this is also this was uh, this was for a film pitch, Hollywood film pitch. Uh, Bombay uh, production house approached me and uh, I got a script and uh, and um, like I had to like. Uh, uh, you know, uh, again, tell story through these two characters, Anuman fighting with the creature, uh, where I had to like uh, design the creature. Also, uh, is again a whole period, so I've just brought a lot of uh, elephants, uh, like again brought some white elephants, which are like rare uh, these days, right? Only I think uh, uh, Malaysia side, I think uh, you have some white elephants. So I just brought them and also tried to bringing more elephants inside to show scale. Also like uh, this was set in like, you know, um, uh, inside a temple, like a South Indian temple, where I wanted to show scale basically. And um, and uh, kind of decorated the, uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, entire, uh, uh, you know, scene uh, with the crowd and, you know, with a uh, uh, lot of uh, other elements. Uh, also there's a cart, which is like very old, right? Uh, uh, with some horses, uh, you know. So, like, uh, I mean, uh, you come, like, you have to, like, you know, generate something which is like, which is new, new, right? I think we, we, I mean, uh, we have seen uh, uh, all these uh, Hollywood films, but but uh, to come up with something Indian and something like, you know, uh, uh, to that scale and everything, you have to actually put in a lot of effort to generate a visual. And uh, so this was like a initial pitch where they wanted to uh, kind of you know uh, uh, tell story uh, like you know uh, so so I, I just did this uh, yeah I mean I can go on and on uh, for uh, each and every visual and talk about it so they, these are some of my personal stuff again um, you know uh, I also do a lot of uh, characters like this uh, like you know uh, uh, so that uh, when I when I'm on a project uh, I can quickly design anything. So these are again, um, since I'm into like, you know, uh, basketball, I play basketball, I like fashion, I like um, uh, hip hop, you know, like uh, uh, music and everything. So all these are like, you know, mixture of everything, like, uh, like, you know, mixing everything. I just, you know, create characters. Uh, so I call them as a Warner, Warner series, basically. Uh, <laughs> Uh, and, uh, you know, um, uh, uh, these kind of characters, edgy characters, uh, you know, and I'm also trying to develop a story out of it. Uh, I'm working on it. And uh, yeah, like uh, I did a portrait which went to uh, uh, Prajinikant, uh, Superstar. Um, you know, that's the portrait I did actually some time back uh, for my friend and uh, he kind of presented that to um, uh, um, Superstar. So this is something, uh, again, personal project like uh, Sage, it's called Sage. I've been developing this. Uh, uh, I just made a book also, uh, you know, exploration book where uh, just brought all these, uh, again, wanted to do something Indian, uh, you know, and also like uh, should have uh, uh, universal appeal to it. So I took the subject and uh, been like uh, developing this, uh, uh, again, whenever I get free time, I work on these uh, uh, character and you know, like uh, come up with visuals, also write story and things like that. So it's yeah, I think I can. Yeah, these are some of the visual, like you know, uh, again war war scene where you have sage, uh, you know, with elephants, and uh, yeah. Again, was seen. So again, you know, like 
sometimes you need to go wild, you know, as a creative person, like, you know, you should, you should not just uh, attempt a, a regular one. You should actually, like, you know, uh, try to come up with a visual, which is, like, stunning or, you know, like, uh, uh, I just placed him on the task, actually. Yeah, it's his uh, character is, like, he's a younger version of, uh, I mean, younger version. So, he's standing on a task, actually, and facing. So, yeah, I mean, uh, you can, like, yeah, I have a uh, lot of artwork here. I think, yeah, maybe you can see later. But uh, I can also go into uh, yeah, like uh, I can talk about uh, FIFA. Um, again, uh, I can play this and maybe we can talk about it. I can link, uh, this is a teaser which we did for uh, FIFA. Uh, I was closely working with the MPC uh, um, uh, London team. And uh, I was involved uh, majorly on uh, the look and feel side, like, you know, art direction. And uh, yeah, please uh, can have a look. Sir, audio is not there, sir. So. Um, yeah, I think uh, some audio issue there. Not sure why audio is not coming. Yeah. Yeah, audio is not coming. And his dream is to be the first court animal in space. In the meantime, Dinesh, sir, if you could also address the questions coming in. Yeah. In yeah. the QA box. Sure, sure. Right, sir. Right. Right. Yeah, I think uh, yeah, we can keep this session as an interactive session. Like yes. you guys can ask questions. Yeah. Um, and so uh, one of the questions here was, uh, how do we develop a strong visual library? Yeah, I think uh, yes. as you mentioned, as you mentioned earlier, like you know, you 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 have to actually like you know uh, uh, keep uh, practicing and you know like uh, uh, first you study uh, realism, like you know, which is like maybe uh, if you are a beginner. Uh, you start with the static uh, objects, like copying static static objects. Actually, like you know, it can be a vehicle or a, uh, even mostly. I think if you see my um, uh, uh, this thing, right, uh, uh, plain air. I have mostly like gone with uh, uh, static ones, where you know I don't have to actually worry about uh, movement, right? Like uh, otherwise, I say sometime like you know I. Uh, like you know say all these are static objects like a vehicle standing or you know trees or uh, like uh, houses like you know like uh, 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 like when you study people uh, people can be like a later stage like you can first study static ones and you know uh, you can sketch them or you know paint them or whatever actually try to copy and then and then slowly you move to uh, you know like um, organic stuff like or you know like uh, or like people uh, studying people and things actually uh, where uh, you can like because uh, it's difficult to study uh, uh, human right because uh, i mean otherwise you make them sit and you know study uh, outdoor when you go outdoor uh, you have to be really faster actually so like after practicing you become uh, you know very quick right you can do quick study and stuff so that's when you should go outdoor and you know keep practicing like you know uh, and uh, start developing actually your own style the style comes uh, uh, naturally, like I mean, you don't have to post uh, to have uh, a style in your work. Uh, style actually, uh, style is a natural process. Like you know, where, uh, you you actually get the bad uh, stuff out of you. Actually, like you know, by practicing, you can remove all the bad stuff, and then uh, your core thing comes out. Actually, like you know, uh, 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 that's that comes only through practice. Actually, like you know, you your uh, 
uh, your inner character or your uh, core stuff, right? I was talking about passion and other things, right? Those are all core areas, actually. What do you like inside, right? That comes out um, uh, after you kind of um, uh, release all these bad stuff, actually. Like, you know, they, they say, right, 10,000 drawing, 10,000 hours, right? All these things are true, actually. I think you, you, you have to actually remove bad stuff from you and then best ones come, starts coming out. So that is like only that is possible only through uh, practice. So that's that's how you can develop your own uh, visual uh, style and you know portfolio and things like that. Yeah. So when it comes to animation character design, vis-a-vis -vis with a game design, game character design. Okay. Any specific uh, uh, outlook towards game character design? Like uh, no, no. These are the things that should be ideally be there for a uh, game product. Um. See, game, uh, again, uh, 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 design, when it comes to character design or uh, uh, even uh, design, right? Design is basically uh, uh, nothing but, I mean, you you have to communicate through design. Like art, uh, art can be anything, actually. Like, uh, for example, I mean, uh, I also do canvas stuff, actually, painting and stuff, uh, contemporary and stuff. There you can do anything, actually. Uh, you can, even personal stuff, whatever, like, no, I, I can, like, do anything, actually. But when it comes to design, right, design has to convey certain things, right? Like, uh, particularly, like, say, if you're designing a logo, for example, here I have a warlord, right, logo. Through that, you're trying to communicate uh, something about the story or, uh, you know, uh, 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 the, the warm look gives, uh, you know, again, uh, like, you know, uh, war and things, right? And also all those uh, crooked edges, Right, it's not a clean uh, font, right? I think yeah. all those things you know convey. So when you look at the logo or uh, or uh, even character design, right? Character design also um, um, it's all uh, depending on the story, right? It has to support story, and story also support. Uh, I mean, this thing, right? Design, like I mean, they they have to gel with each other. So that's how like Avatar, Avatar has got a long language there actually, right? Uh, which is like uh, you know fantasy, right? Uh, you have that blue color, which is like again. Anything blue is, I mean, you, you remember Avatar, right? Uh, uh, such a huge scale characters, you know, like uh, with the three fingers or whatever, actually. Um, uh, also, like uh, with the orange eyes, and you know, like uh, that's again a visual language. Uh, I think that the, that supports the story also, right? It's fantasy, it's happening in another planet, you know. So, so they, they, they have to support each other. So, uh, and also tell story and will convey message through like logo for example you have nike logo right nike logo is a very simple uh, stroke right which uh, which conveys uh, the product right um, uh, all those messages it's going to carry right so so yeah i mean any anything you take actually like um, uh, you know uh, uh, design has to support uh, okay to, yeah sir when it comes to one query has been that uh, I do not know art. I am not good at sketching. Okay. Um, how would I shape my career? But I'm passionate about animation and gaming. Okay, so um, what is the avenue open for it? So my uh, take would be, it would be, I am also same. Okay, I'm not a great artist, but I'm passionate about animation and gaming. So I took up production. Okay, I became a producer. So it's as simple as that. So if you are, some people are good in software, they go into the technical pipeline, they become chief technology officers, where they are very good in telling stories, they become directors. Okay, that's what Bala is all about. Okay, with good sketching skills. Some people are very good in business. Okay, how, how I uh, do take a product, animation, visual effects, gaming product, go sell in the market, okay, and make money. Okay, so when we say we design, we don't design for our pleasure. We design for the audience, okay, or for the subscribers, okay. We give a value to them. In turn, they give money to us. It's as simple as that, okay. So, can we uh, go through the case of because you have generated millions of uh, funding, sir, okay? Because I know personally, if a bad egg fetched a good funding, okay, for, for post which we could see the little Krishna uh, picking up in a big way, some uh, 200, 300 crore investment came. Can you please uh, uh, talk about the bad egg? Uh, how this triggered that funding round? Uh, yeah, I, I mean, I won't go into the 
funding part of it, but I can talk about art uh, side actually. I think, yeah, definitely. Bad Egg again, uh, it was uh, like I just wanted to do a unique film actually. Like, you know, um, something which is like, uh, which, which takes you like into a different trip actually. Like, you know, um, since, um, yeah, I mean, uh, um, we, we have seen, we have worked on many projects like Disney projects and everything. We have learned a lot actually, like, you know, about uh, storytelling, like an animation or, you know, design or, uh, um, uh, or, um, or uh, like, you know, about the camera or whatever, actually, right? We've learned all those things, actually. And now this is, again, a personal project, actually. I mean, I started with a personal thing and then it become uh, this thing. So uh, I just, uh, like, we had to do a show, show reel. Uh, uh, I was with Anirites, a company called Anirites, and where uh, um, we wanted to build uh, uh, this one, like, you know, so uh, show reel, basically. So then uh, Ashish was asking, and then uh, Ashish was uh, CEO, CEO of that company, I think uh, this year. Um, so, so like uh, he was asking for uh, some, uh, like you know, he was asking me to build some uh, stuff actually for Shoril, for the Shoril. So I, uh, I just told him that I have this idea, like, you know, uh, and uh, I didn't even write a script for this film. Uh, it was all like, you know, um, a visual script actually where, uh, uh, where I just add a storyboard, like, you know, uh, I just add this idea inside. And since I'm a visual person, I, I just draw everything, like, you know, uh, frame by frame, I just, uh, you know, uh, um, uh, narrated, like, you know, the story with visuals and with few lines, actually, like, you know, what's happening in the scene and all I wrote, actually, and then kind of pitched uh, to the boss, uh, to my boss. And, and then they, they, I mean, he liked it. And then um, uh, he kind of gave uh, three guys, uh, you know, initially, and then I started uh, working on it, uh, working on the film, and came up with uh, some clips, actually, few clips, which were interesting. Uh, they they kind of you know everyone liked it, loved it actually. So then uh, then he gave me like you know around uh, fifteen guys to work on this film, and we did this film uh, in fifty days of time, and uh, around uh, thirty yeah thirty two scenes I guess yeah. Uh, like uh, it was pretty uh, challenging, like you know, and I didn't have uh, 3D guys. It all it was all done in 2D, uh, you know, with the flash combination of flash, After Effects, and um, I designed the entire pre crowd, like you know, uh, uh, came up with the character design, like you know, um, uh, that's the better character design, like you know, I went with the triangle shape because he's uh, he's a bad person. So I just went with a lot of angularity, like, you know, uh, uh, and also with the uh, red eyes and, you know, like to, just to communicate uh, about the character and things and uh, all the 3D part, uh, like, were done by me, actually, like uh, 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 rigging uh, the egg or, you know, like uh, on the set and everything. Uh, but uh, rest, uh, rest all were like uh, 2D uh, and, uh, and then, uh, like, you know, we executed this uh, and, uh, I can maybe show that clip, uh, which is like, yeah, please. Just have a small portion of uh, this favorite portion of uh, uh, the film. Uh, just uh, I don't have the entire film, but I think you can find it in uh, YouTube. Uh, it is available in YouTube. Everyone can watch because yeah, there is a policy of time. We will show a small uh, yeah, one small. minute. Yeah. yeah, sure. Just playing. Uh, the sound. Uh, can you unmute it, please? Yeah, the audio is missing, sir. Oh, it's missing. Yeah. No, I can hear actually, but uh, not sir. Well, the, the, yeah, there's a problem. No, no, you can continue, sir. It's no problem. Sir. Yeah. Yeah, I just uh, kept a small portion there. Uh, yes. Uh, so, so for the viewers, because we have a positive of time, you can always give uh, bad egg by big animation. You can get to see that uh, video on the YouTube. Yeah. Okay. So why this is pivotal is uh, this is what leads to formation of companies. Few good ideas and few good people with us uh, will uh, set the tone and tenor for building institutions. So uh, second, we would uh, uh, there was a query. Um, just a moment uh, on the 
how do you differentiate art and design i recently made a portfolio and feedback was that the same work would be added in a fine arts portfolio what makes it eligible for design portfolio so what is the fundamental difference between design and an art uh, portfolio yeah i think again uh, they mentioned like art can be anything art uh, you know uh, when when i think you would have seen right all these installation or uh, or uh, canvas painting or like you know uh, anything even this also right this is not a design actually this all these are art actually right I, I don't have to worry about conveying message through my image maybe it can be storytelling and whatever but when it comes to design like you know for example you are uh, uh, you are designing a logo uh, uh, that logo has to uh, you know communicate uh, um, the entire like you know a company's vision or you know uh, you know all these things you know it has to carry right so that is where the design comes actually and also like any any macbook pro or anything you take right they are all user friendly they are like you know um, they have to be user friendly uh, even a common man can you know uh, should be able to understand actually uh, you know like without without any text without um, any dialogue or anything right uh, it's just a sim simple visual is going to communicate the entire thing actually right so like for example you have a phone phone you have lot of like you have interface and everything right also if we can take uh, apple phone as an example again just single button right they came up with a single button where you can actually go inside and come out right uh, those are again uh, a strong uh, visual communication right uh, anyone like you know any common man can actually go inside and uh, you know operate everything and then come out right without any dialogue without any like you know uh, text or anything like that no maximum it's all symbol and you know um uh, uh, small icon or whatever right through that you are communicating actually like right? uh, so that is that's called design actually uh, that's where design comes at even if uh, when it comes to character design again there also the character has to communicate for example now again uh, i can uh, go into uh, um uh, this one actually like krishna kamsa right ha huh. i would here i would like to ask what when you say i am designing a commercial product called little krishna and where the villain has to be profound to have how krishna is profound okay the villain has to be equally profound yeah. so how what was the uh, thought process in making of uh, kansa so where were your inspirations how did you come out with this design yeah again uh, we all know about the krishna story right um, uh, kamsa is kind of worried about krishna like you know uh, and uh, he is always worried actually about uh, you know something is going to uh, you know uh, going to happen kind of thing right so uh, he's going to be killed by uh, um, uh, krishna and things like that right i think you all know the story so yeah i mean uh, so we, we while designing this um, i was actually like i mean we were all we all know like you know sanjay the sanjay that uh, must be knowing right uh, bollywood actor he was going through uh, problems right like uh, Was jail for some time and things like that, right? Uh, so I just took him as a base here for uh, Kamsa's design actually. So I I took uh, him as a base, uh, like you know, uh, um, he was going through a lot of trouble and you know, and uh, and his eyes were like uh, you know kind of uh, huge, right? He has got a, um, a huge uh, like eye, right? Like a eyeball. So very expressive eyes, right? Uh, so I thought you know. we can uh, we can kind of design uh, a character uh, you know keeping sanjay that in mind and uh, also we want a huge figure and also um, uh, like uh, rest all like you know i just rework i mean i kind of uh, improvised actually like uh, having v shape body and uh, like you know um, he's a king right i think uh, so so he has to be like the powerful and thing so um, uh, like you have anatomy detail muscle detail also like uh, um yeah gigantic figure basically and uh, he basically yeah he, the, his eyes right he has a dark circle around it is basically worried and uh, uh, like you know and um, and uh, rest yeah rest i just uh, kind of improvised actually and then people like again we finalized this design i can i can play this uh, clip maybe you can uh you know this is a place where he gets angry and uh, he's always like uh, you know frustrated 
so maybe you can go through this clip. If you have any questions, I can answer. Thanks, audio. So there is an audio issue. Um, audio issue yeah. We need to fix it. But these are very much available on YouTube. You can look yeah. at because uh, sometimes we get too involved in the clip and uh, we don't see the making of it. Maybe yeah. because of uh, how audio is performed, this is the best example you can understand from there. Okay, yeah. the visual language. Now, um, there is a lot of talk about AI, including the uh, creative space like design. Okay, so what is your take on it, sir? Uh, yeah, it's definitely like, you know, uh, kind of disturbing <laughs> all the artists, uh, I would say, like, I think um, uh, artists are slightly worried about AI because AI is, uh, you know, uh, AI can create a lot of things now. Uh, but, uh, I mean, uh, you don't have to worry about it. Like, I mean, I feel uh, uh, AI has not come to a level where you can uh, do a, a design again, like, you know, uh, uh, like highly sophisticated design, I would say, like, uh, for example, like, um, um, I think uh, SPA Studio, you all must be knowing, right? Uh, animation Studio, where uh, they came up with a film uh, called Cross. Uh, the designs are like high end designs, actually, like, you know, uh, such designs are not possible uh, to uh, AI. Like, uh, AI can do some, uh, you know, like uh, basically remix. You can do remix, but uh, it cannot go beyond, actually. Like, I think this is like, you know, it just collecting a couple of images and merging them together and uh, giving a visual, right? And based on your prompting, like, you know, based on whatever you type in, you get the visual, but but you don't have a control right now, right now, like... Uh, so it is a uh, broad intelligence versus narrow intelligence. So when we talk about uh, AI, it is more uh, from a narrow intelligence point of view. Okay, maybe it can do calculations faster, but when it comes to assimilating various areas, and coming out with a uh, that kind of thinking, what we call it as broad intelligence, is not there. Okay, it is not self-aware. Emotionally, it cannot be. So yeah. these are the areas I think. Uh, uh, however, whatever the improvement comes in the AI, will not be able to match. Uh, okay, the human skills. Okay, so um, now can we discuss on the Venita question because that's again uh, one of the you uh, widely acclaimed uh, and uh, what do you call it. Uh, uh, you got multiple recognition and awards for it. Yeah, like just, uh, yeah. you started with some claymation kind of concept and uh, it, you evolved it into a 3D. Can we yeah. go through the nuances of it? Yeah, I think uh, Venita Kuchini was like, uh, again, um, uh, client was uh, looking for a claymation and, um, and we didn't have, uh, I mean, uh, very few people are doing claymation in India. And um, uh, when they approached us, you know, they were looking for claymation uh, kind of uh, look and feel. And um, then I was actually experimenting. Personally, I was experimenting with uh, 3D, you know, trying to do uh, claymation kind of, uh, you know, animation through a 3D, like, you know, by adding some blank shades or, you know, like slight uh, kind of wobbliness. And, uh, you know, I was trying experiment. I mean, I was experimenting basically. And um, uh, I also did some test and all. So then, uh, then uh, when these people came and uh, I told them that you no, know, it can be achieved in 3D, like you know. And uh, so we, we, uh, I don't have uh, all my character design here, but uh, I have the clip actually. Uh, maybe you can go through. So like uh, we, uh, we tried a, a clay, a clay look actually in 3D, and also we, uh, we tried a stop motion look actually, like with a jerky look and all that. But like after animating, we 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 tried like adding uh, some stepped keys inside, and you know we are trying to give a, a raw look actually, like you know uh, what you get in clay. So uh, we tried that, but you know finally we uh, we didn't want to give too much of a jerky look. Uh, you know, client was uh, happy with the smooth look, so we went with smooth look actually. But uh, yeah, maybe you can uh, see this clip. Uh, yeah okay so again this uh, 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 video is available on youtube 
uh, kindly go through it because uh, here the client wanted a clay animation okay taking clay and uh, creating animation out of it clay stop motion animation but uh, it was brilliantly did in uh, 3d animation uh, in a beautiful way uh, so even the whatsoever howsoever how much ever we can do with the clay uh, it was not possible okay the uh, kind of the soul it had okay in selling the kitchen so i still remember uh, the client coming again and again for the repeat yeah. on the beta kitchen that's very important because they saw a lot of value in what we did so that's how we got the uh, reorders for that so um now when it comes to you have worked in gaming okay say assassin creed okay um, so what is your insight like because this is not from your culture okay the culture you grew up Yeah. but here you are working on international product okay uh, that is to that to a very prestigious product so what was the thought when you did assassin creed yeah when i worked on assassin creed i think uh, see uh, we closely work with uh, foreign art directors actually and uh, i think it's all a visual medium right finally it's all a visual medium like i think uh, these days uh, uh, you know anyone can collaborate with anyone and it's all about knowledge if you have uh, right skill set and you know uh, and also have uh, aesthetic uh, knowledge and everything uh, visual communication right if you know very well uh, you can work with anyone and um, and also like um, they they did a lot of research actually and then they had a bible kind of you know they had a style guide uh, uh, you know um, they did a research actually i mean uh, it, that, that assassin creed was set in uh, uh, ancient greek Uh, you know background and uh, they even went to uh, a greece and you know they took a lot of photographs and they had like library of uh, reference images and you know, like like they took a photograph uh, i mean uh, they took uh, photos uh, uh, of uh, each and every like pattern like you know pillar design or you know like uh, or graphic uh, patterns like on the wall or would it would work or you know like the furniture everything we had a, a number of uh, visual reference there actually huge collection we had actually library so that way like you know we have to do research like when you when you are not familiar with uh, uh, the subject or anything you need to actually understand like what is required and uh, what do you want to communicate there all those visual i mean uh, um, uh, research you have to do actually and then it's going to be easier for you actually like you know this this pattern can go here or uh, you can connect dots and you know uh, come up with the visual actually right so like uh, say we were designing ships uh, for assassin creed actually right so we used to get the designs from them also like sometime we have to improvise like you know certain like they just do a rough concept sometime and uh, you have to actually like uh, improvise them so again ship uh, with woodwork or all those texture patterns on uh, on the ship uh, also like the ship was uh, tileable uh, kind of a uh, this thing, modular uh, we call it actually like you know uh, the small uh, the portions can be like uh, duplicated and arranged and uh, so that you know you get a huge ship actually also all these railings everything right just to optimize uh, 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 the um, this thing like you know uh, uh, um, 3d stuff otherwise right, it will become heavy like if you like uh, uh, put a lot of uh, 3d model and you know like heavy mesh and things uh, and the game won't work actually right uh, you have to kind of optimize things so we kind of use modular uh, pattern like you know, i mean you build uh, like all those railings and everything right we design one pillar and which can be reused actually so just one assert will be like duplicated there and uh, they would just call uh, those things you know through programming i mean i mean uh, we we basically uh, uh we can kind of reuse them like even texture pattern like we create a texture sheet which is like optimized and we can actually call the uh, uh, those patterns actually like tileable patterns and then you can make a huge uh, 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 shape or uh, anything wall pattern or uh, anything actually so mostly mostly we try to reuse actually all these things so so, so you are planning... a, you are a director okay a story comes to you okay yeah. that story can be um a live action story or a animation story or a visual effects story or a game based interactive interactive story okay so how would you uh, parse it and say uh, which fits what medium uh, from your standpoint of view as a director how will you parse it i think uh, again uh, uh, 
as he was uh, talking about um, uh, um, like uh, see certain stories can be done in life certain stories cannot be done in life like uh, like you know right i think all these films uh, inside out like pixar film you could have seen actually story happens inside the mind right like uh, where all those emotions becomes character like angry or you know and the emotion or like you know uh, happy or sad you had all those characters right they all had a colors like you know uh, defining their uh, character again you know whether it is angry or you know and uh, purple as sad or you know like uh, blue as sad or like you know green as uh, happy yellow all those things, whatever like colors they were trying to communicate all those things uh, to design and everything that was again that story cannot be done in life because it's uh, again like bugs life or you can take uh, monster sink or uh, you take uh, any example of such uh, you know films they cannot be done uh, in life right so 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 again uh, certain things can be in done in life so we have to decide actually like uh, for animation especially you should choose a story like which which uh, which cannot be done in life and which can only be done in uh, animation so that can we say really what is not possible in live action we do it in animation a story is that cannot be told it's as simple as that yeah okay yeah. maybe the environment maybe the character okay uh, that uh, okay that some like avatar avatar also like you know a mixture of everything right like uh, yeah. so as well as uh, uh, cg right so okay so it's both live characters and cg generated yeah. characters and backgrounds yeah. so like that's what jurassic we got jurassic park jurassic park where right? you know you had a uh, live uh, as well as uh, cg characters right the dinosaurs i mean uh, saw or anything actually you can uh, uh, i mean uh, such such uh, it depends on story depends on like uh, uh, you know what do you want to tell and uh, how do you want to execute and things like that so you can pick uh, you know uh, story which is like animation friendly or uh, which cannot be done in live and then go with uh, you know creative creative approach where you know you can execute through animation and things like that like for example uh, again um, this all out film right all out uh, the plucky character or uh, this cannot be done in live you yes. have to animate right uh, yeah. all these characters so that's where you choose actually medium and things yeah. since you are a um, uh, acclaimed character designer okay some Uh, insights on how can you give some tips on how to create iconic uh, character designs like uh, when we say avengers or any of this okay superman spider man all this okay um, spectacular billions and billions of dollars are made of it, okay so what is your tip for creating such iconic uh, iconic character designs i think uh, it, uh, it's all about like you know um... And I won't say like only uh, Marvel characters are really great. Uh, you even uh, even if you go with a simple uh, Mickey Mouse or you know like uh, mm. uh, or or uh, um, even like you know uh, uh, Seven Up character like we have right? Uh, yeah. I like uh, uh, with the uh, hats up like you know. Yes. Uh, or uh, or anything anything can become a character actually. Even it can be a stick figure actually, right? um uh, it doesn't matter actually but uh, as long as you can uh, make it powerful like you know um communicate uh, proper uh, properly like you know uh, with uh, i mean bring bring out personality and uh, like you know um uh, giving personality or you know like uh, coming out with the idea like um, uh, you know so uh, can we split it like perform. yeah can you split it like anatomy shape language Or the psychology of the I character. Mean, the the shape language. If you, if you take uh, Mickey Mouse, uh, it's completely built out of uh, shapes, right? Um, yes. Uh, right. So again, um, um, like, um, like I think uh, you would have seen. I think everything is available in internet actually these days. Uh, like uh, angular shapes would uh, convey certain uh, emotions actually, right? Angularity. Uh, any line, every line matters. Actually. Every like you know. Uh, say horizontal line uh, they they like you know they are like stable they are like uh, you know peace right uh, say like you can even connect uh, all these things actually like uh, when you go to a uh, seashore uh, uh, and then sit there and you can meditate i think you you get to see the flat line right the horizontal line which is like a flat line nothing but a horizontal line basically right 
or uh, or um, i think i i always connect all these things uh, also try to tell story also through them actually like you know uh, coming up visual and um, you know that can be um, conveys actually again like um, vertical lines uh, can be city like you know you have a lot of buildings right uh, vertical buildings these days like you know uh, apartments um, again horizontal line again can uh, uh, can be seen in village like you know where you get to see landscape right uh, flat lines um, or crooked lines can convey like bad egg we saw right bad egg uh, bad egg i've used a lot of crooked lines actually see this uh, all those pillars uh, um, all those um, this thing they all they all have a crooked uh, edges right they are not uh, clean straight lines actually right um, uh, you know they they have a lot of crooked uh, uh, that that conveys certain things right that conveys a uh, gloomy uh, dark uh, like you know uh, tim burton kind of a film right tim burton film you can see all these things actually right so again this story is about greed and you know he, like you know, all these things bad stuff and everything so that's why i went with a lot of grays blue grays and also with all these kind of crooked lines and also stayed uh, the entire thing on a top of the pillar actually it's, which is a very tall pillar right i mean um uh, so so like um, uh, uh, tall shapes right like uh, uh, i mean it can be done in a normal tree also which one uh, which one elevate this emotion right so when you when you you have to exaggerate you have to actually play around with uh, uh, you know uh, uh, with uh, all these uh, visual elements actually which would uh, elevate the story otherwise if you say same story if i stage it in a normal uh, tree and uh, you know Uh, it it will be normal it won't it won't uh, have this kind of feel or uh, emotion or anything so i think yeah i mean shape and everything plays a major role actually uh, you know when it comes to design uh, designing characters or environment or anything. so we play around with the shapes actually like the angular shapes can be certain things the round shapes can be like friendly uh, you know uh, uh, happy kind of a thing so i think uh, uh, i mean if you see uh, those things are there uh, in everything actually like i mean uh, mostly i have uh, done uh, mother is more of rounded you know like egg shaped like friendly uh, uh, you know um, uh, kind of a shape i've used but uh, with uh, with uh, with the bad egg character you know i used uh, mostly angular thing you know with the spikes spiky hair all or angularity right so it's uh, that's again going to convey a different mood i think so uh, this is what um, uh, even hollywood uh, you know films uh, like even pixar films you know they all do this actually like um, uh, also like uh, you can this is there in even uh, revenant film actually if you carefully observe uh, revenant film also has uh, certain things actually uh, they are they have told story through uh, background you know like uh, um, uh, where you know uh, they used a certain lens actually uh, to, like camera uh, lenses mostly uh, wide angle lenses they used uh, in revenant where they communicate these kind of things actually even i i have done this uh, here actually this was done long back but keeping a uh, see uh, constantly there will be a drizzle drizzle happening on the scene also all these uh, fog everything would be moving actually uh, and we are telling story through again background uh, uh, you know uh, uh, not only with character but there are also like with the uh, with the background uh, stuff actually you can tell story i think this is there in revenant actually revenant you know they use it even here so when it comes to color palette sir when it comes to color palette yeah okay so what is your take on the color palette like how strong because be it ux ui design or be it in consumer product design or for that matter animation visual effects design or for that matter gaming any design you take the color is the uh, primary uh, differentiator color palette okay what is your take on the color palette vis a vis from a whatever perspective be it from animation visual effects perspective or ui ux perspective yeah i mean color is important like you know uh, color uh, through color you can can be emotion actually like you know um, like um, something which is formal right uh, like again uh, you can take example like um, uh, uh, you have uh, bank related stuff for example city bank or you know hdfc or anything right mostly they go with blue blue is more mostly like uh, you know 
or uh, with a uh, you know blue gives a formal uh, thing actually right even i think most of the bmw cars are blue like you know i mean they, there is some connection with the, uh, uh, this thing actually and also like um, sports cars are like mostly flashy like you know, yellow red you know like uh, and also happy uh, you know orange is again food like you know swiggy logo you take uh, they've gone with the orange right orange is again food all the fruits right like you you collect uh, images mostly fruits are all orange right like uh, eating uh, uh, you know uh, eatable stuffs are mostly orange right the, because of the fruits and everything actually so i think yeah you connect uh, like this and then logo also you design based on that again it's going to communicate right orange when you see orange maybe people may not know that orange is related to uh, you know food and stuff uh, but but they 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 somehow uh, you know they can connect actually like they will get the emotion and um, also they get the feel of uh, uh, food uh, and stuff actually they may not know they may not able uh, they they may not be able to describe uh, but uh, but they would feel it inside actually uh, this is towards food you know so uh, like i mean we can go on and down actually these are examples yeah. i'm uh, giving so uh, color plays a major role yeah? especially with films right like you have a uh, morning morning scene where you know everything is warm or uh, or uh, or uh, twilight uh, setup where you know uh, the lighting is different and the certain scenes we go with uh, you know warm light certain scenes we go with uh, uh, you know cool and you know gloomy lights or uh, or interior light or exterior uh, you know uh, keeping backlight they all have meanings actually and uh, the light through through light the color changes actually right um, um uh, with sun right uh, i mean everything is black right without light and through light only we are actually getting colors right all these uh, colors so i think uh, uh, through color you can actually um, tell story i think i think best uh, best uh, um, um uh, example would be like a uh, inside out inside out uh, i think you would have seen actually where uh, all these characters right they all carry colors and they kind of communicated through color actually yeah, even even um, you can see actually like you know um, even i like for example again uh, i would bring uh, sage sage have gone with uh, see uh, the uh, main character have gone with the uh, blue green uh, you know blue green uh, where uh, you know wanted to um, uh, wanted to have a positive uh, thing so gone with the uh, blue green actually uh, but uh, like uh, the villain i gone with red actually this was done long back i mean this is not even i didn't even see uh, um, inside out the inside out came uh, recently right i mean this was done like you know long back actually i gone with uh, blue green actually which is like more positive this character is more positive and uh, wanted to have such a uh, color based uh, you know a theme and war war i wanted to again elevate the violence and you know red so red plays here on this visual right uh, uh, full of red and you know war he's talking about war and everything um, and he's also talking about peace and everything and again he's more of uh, you know uh, green and you know like uh, cool colors and stuff and that's more of warm so i mean you can you can tell a story through color actually uh, color yes, is a base actually i think uh, this these are all uh, like you know uh, storytelling visuals but even when it comes to ui ux Uh, where you like you know i was talking about uh, bank uh, stuff and all right like when chess chess games you would have played uh, mostly it will be like blue based uh, like because they i recently was going through in one of the game actually where uh, they have designed everything based on blue so uh, like you know money everything related to blue actually like, so bank and everything. so i think yeah so uh, you can i mean uh, color plays a major role actually. and nature well, i'm sorry to intrude here at this point because we are running short of time yeah, all yeah. 30 we have to close uh, right. what i would love to do is a series with you okay on the design thinking as far as entertainment product segment is concerned okay we will do is end to end like how storytelling design technology how do you put together and understand the ecosystem and develop products for animation visual effects and game design okay here also i would like to highlight Yeah. most of the people think okay this design is about you uh, only about animation what about ux and ui i say you have to tell a story if there is no story there is no business 
that's what uh, i want to make it very clear if you look at facebook facebook tells a story of social connectedness people are fond to fond of connecting with each other that's what you did a experiment with the quickie with shekhar kapoor i remember okay yeah. you did a this thing i wanted to create a product that would be uh, a big daddy of all the facebook selling like everything i still remember those products that you have done okay yeah. Yeah. maybe it did it did not take off the way it was supposed to be but any uh, the business for that matter there has to be a story okay and in this world of digital presentation okay every business has to have a digital present okay that's where all these apps have kicked up in a big way okay and i what i find lacking is the uh, storytelling in terms of what uh, one they how they connect with the uh, subscribers okay or the users two when it comes to interfaces the they are they absolutely lack uh, the kind of empathy Uh, where uh, a, a emotionally a user can connect so what is your take on it bala like uh, uh, how do when you use an app okay so many apps we use be it uh, google maps like um, flipkart or for that matter uh, amazons or any of this instagram you have so many so many so many apps that we download okay what is your take uh, in terms of storytelling is there a story there that is not that's why the millions of apps don't get a kind of eyeballs now uh, what is your takes uh, bada only few apps get the uh, get to be in our mobile uh i think um, uh, aesthetic plays a major role actually like anything that you do design right like um, uh, aesthetic is something uh, which is uh, you know like very important actually like, you know, to reach out to many audiences so um, again yeah, uh, like uh, i can You can bring out you know the apple apple products are like popular because they have a very good aesthetic actually right uh, with, the, with the product actually right They're also user friendly and um, they are actually like um, i know like any uh, uh, reason why they yeah. choose only white while blackberry or something like that chooses black you know certain companies the, choose red see, any general, psychology general, behind like, that if you want to stand out if you want to stand out you should actually go away from the regular patterns even in painting also anything right art also that if you want to stand out if you want to actually be unique and then you have to avoid the, all the clichés actually all the regular patterns all the like you know regular uh, storytelling regular way of storytelling and everything right even bad is that's why bad is standing out because i didn't go with the regular pattern it's just breaking i i was clear actually that i, I wanted to do something unique so i think uh, apple is also like that apple uh, they wanted to actually create a unique product right I mean, when I saw Apple first time, I remembered cooker, <laughs> right? It was like <laughs> aluminium, right? Silver, uh, uh, the aluminium look, right? Like uh, I was just uh, what man? Uh, these guys have come up with something which is like unique, right? I mean, uh, they didn't go with the regular um, uh, approach, right? So with the uh, regular, uh, you know, laptops, right? Um, uh, also, like um, uh, it's just not bad. Actually. I mean, they they got a quality product. Right? It's quality, uh, also. any design right all you know it has got a golden proportion or uh, uh, anything you see carefully designed fonts you no know, uh, beautiful fonts actually clarity or um, or uh, even even user friendly right like i mean uh, they are all user friendly actually uh, the way they the closing buttons on left side actually right not on right side they went away from the regular pattern so uh, that also sometimes it can even go wrong like if you are not done properly right it is not done properly it can even go wrong actually when you are when you are unique because people cannot connect actually people like uh, the regular pattern right they don't like uh, unique stuff actually maybe like you no know, uh, uh, once everyone likes you know people again are i am talking about common crowd actually in general uh, that's why many artists also suffer actually like artists are mostly trying to go away from regular pattern right uh, vincent van gogh was like uh, painting something else right and then he suffered and later people realized after 100 years they realized that uh, vincent was trying to do something actually true, so true. Uh, being unique also dangerous actually uh, uh, like you know but people take risk artists take risk actually trying to be unique trying to come up with new design and things like that but i think you need to be uh, really careful when when you design like a new product or anything uh, it's good to be unique so that you can stand out at the same time it can even be like uh, uh, cuz actually like you no know, people may not even come to you right even some films right uh, uh, they do like um, uh, 
uh, some certain films are like you know ahead of time so audience cannot connect actually right so that's also dangerous actually so i think you have to calculate that you have to see everything and then you know decide actually but um, in, this, in this context i would like to add like uh, when we open up a studio okay be it ux ui studio or for that matter uh, consumer product design studios or for that matter animation visual effects or gaming studios we have a combination of uh, uh, services jobs and we do our ip okay ip is what uh, ip means our original ideation our intellectual property that is what brings lot of value to the company okay how much so if you look at infosys wipro tcs they don't have products they are cheap service providers cheap service providers moment the business from us and europe stops the company would suffer okay they are not microsoft they are not google they are not facebook they are the service providers for microsoft google and other banking and insurance softwares please understand um, here i would like to appeal to all the audience out here because who are starting their career going forward ki what adds value is your independent original ideation your own apps add value to you like how bala with his uh, Uh, a plethora of ideas that he has put across uh, you can see it in balaarts.in okay you can see a plethora of idea he is presenting to the world that is what brings value yes if you want to make a lot of money yes we services are a big uh, area so we use a combination of services we use a combination of product that is a judiciously we have to do that to build a company because not every one of you would be working next 30 40 years okay somewhere you have to take a call uh, i want to have my own setup i want to have, take my own calls okay in that uh, your services job would be of a kind of experience but it will not help you build product so you have to have a product uh, i uh, mindset quite early in your uh, career or for that matter when you study you should have uh, this kind of inclination like how bala did okay uh, you should start having your own portfolio of ideas okay so irrespective of whatever field okay and you put in certain years of experience to understand how the corporate works okay how the large supply chain mechanisms work in our industry okay then you can start on your own where you have a um, complementary i mean full of uh, adequate skill sets to start your own ideas ideations and at the same time you should know it everything is a business okay you are not doing any product for your personal pleasure okay you are doing it you bring a value and a, to the customer and the customer pays for you it's as simple as that that's the transaction we have to when i make a movie i i take the uh, audience to a different world at least for 2 3 hours uh, whatever a couple of hours they spend there okay they would be uh, just forgetting whatever troubles they are in and they have a very pleasurable moment okay so that is the business uh, because i come from uh, the production perspective okay for me everything is business okay it is everything is about money how we make and how what kind of spectacular experience i can provide for my uh, consumers subscribers or customers or who, whatever you call it. okay so uh, we will sum it up because uh, going forward we will have a uh, industry experts coming in from varied areas today we had opportunity to interact with bala and is uh, how we grew because uh, for you students you should have a definitive plan going forward how we want to shape up your next 30 40 years okay and bala is a prime example okay uh, along with bala some 50000 to 1 lakh people came in the industry but today if you ask in uh, how many of them have uh, really uh, able to break that uh, glass barrier and reach the top of the pyramid it would be hardly 10 20 people like you okay so what defines uh, this dna is that his thought process very early that he has to Uh, make his own movies he has to make his own independent ideation okay so with this thought process in mind uh, we wind up uh, and it was a pleasure having you okay to because it was too short a time maybe i'll make a small web series of say around 2 hours or 3 hours with 20 minutes duration with you bala to understand because the lot of facets are there from ideation to production i mean to the screen okay we'll uh, take uh, we'll take it as a separate series thank you so so much thank you thank you thanks a lot uh, mr thanks, shinde thanks uh, what i would request is uh, we have your registration details with us including your email ids and your contact numbers we will have pallavi who will share with you the details of the b design program and uh, as we talked 
if you visit the website, you see that we have multiple specializations available. We have uh, the specializations on UI UX design. We have the specialization available on the product design. We have animation. We have filmmaking available on this. As I told you in the beginning, you know, the we we want to make sure that you know this is a multifaceted course, and it allows students today to take the advantage of this. Also, the complete background of Dan and Sagar Group, which has been there over the last six decades, and when it comes to placements, when it comes to opportunities, when it comes to internships these are some things which are inbuilt you know in the in the programs and that's where the campus life today becomes very very interesting we have some good company sponsored labs available students can come into the city innovation campus have a look at the particular campus see the labs see the workshops spend some time with the dean spend some time with the faculties understand how your journey is going to be there for the next 4 years how you can choose your specializations if you are not clear, you can choose your specializations later. Probably in the, in the second semester or third semester is where you can choose your specializations. But yes, we we promise that we we give you a good encouragement. We give you you know we actually give you a good campus life, which will encourage you throughout the four years and keep you at the edge. And uh, I'm sure once you get onto the industry, definitely you will be able to see the difference of studying with Dan and Sagar University. So with this, we would like to take the leave. We'd like to thank Pallavi for organizing this particular webinar and a big thanks to Mr. Bala Subramaniam Rajshekar. It was, it was nice to see the kind of work that you have done. I, I know it's years and years of hard work that gets into it. You, you generally cannot show it in a 30 minutes or a 40 minutes kind of a webinar. But what is, what is important for the students to see is that how he has adopted to both, you know, the traditional practices as well as the new age practices together. Because if you're not going to adopt to the new age practices, you will be left back. So the thing is that, you know, while you still look at the fundamentals, you also look at the technology component to it and incorporating both of this will keep you ahead. And that's where people would prefer to get associated with you. So thank you so much, sir, for giving us the insights. Thank you, Dinesh, for your time. Thank you. Uh, we would yeah. we would want the details of the program to be shared with the students so that they are able to make some kind of conscious decisions. And if they feel that Dan and Sagar University is one of the preferred choice for them, we would like to welcome them to our campus. Over to you, Pallavi. Thank you so much. Thank you, sir. Thank you such for such an insightful session. So, students, just thank you for your thank time. You. If, yes, sir. No, I just wanted to thank actually. I think Dinesh also like she day like you know. Yeah. Thanks for having me. Uh, yeah, it was a great opportunity. Thank you. And Thank thanks, you so much. Uh, thanks. Uh, Thank you. For the students who are like, listening. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you so much, Pallavi. See you. Bye-bye. Thank you. Bye. -bye. Thank you. Bye.